So you see a trading opportunity. Looks like a decent setup. You have the confirmation to enter. But you hesitate. You are afraid to lose money. Or you have some sort of anxiety that stops you to pull the trigger. It's a problem almost every trader will face at some point in their trading career. I also suffered from the fear of losing money. And this issue led to other mistakes that stopped me to have the best trading execution. Today I'm sharing my process, what I've done to reduce anxiety when trading, and the actual steps I took to improve trading execution. So, if you could, like, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for the full video. Do you think the color of a candle affects you when trading? Of course it does. Tell me if this is familiar. You enter a long trade, expecting the market to go up. You gain a few points, and then price goes against you, forming a red candle. And you start watching the ticks, every down tick in particular. And you focus on the red color of the candle. You get more and more anxious when another red candle forms. This was a big issue for me in my first years. I used to close my trades after a few minutes when I saw several red candles below my entry point. The solution to overcome this is simple. Change the color of your candles to one color. This way, you'll follow price and its range only. Let me ask you, which one of the texts on the screen is easier for you to read? The one with the same color or the one with multiple colors? There's a phenomenon in psychology called visual perception. Your brain is always looking for patterns. In trading, when you are using multicolor candles, you are decreasing your ability to detect patterns. Let me repeat, your brain is looking for patterns. And one of the qualities of a pattern is similar colors. Color affects your brain, your emotions, your psychology, potentially your ability to trade. To trade best, it requires you trade in a neutral, unbiased state of mind. Fast-moving red or green candles have made me take bad trades in the past, both on entry and exit. If you are anxious during an open trade, use candles with the same color. So try this simple tip for decreasing your reactivity to price moves. Change the color to anything but red, blue or green, yellow or white candles. Just stay away from red, then get back to me in a week. I find myself more calm when using a single color for up and down candles. Maybe this little brain hack will help you get rid of some anxiety. Here's another situation. You see a long opportunity, price is around the key level, and you decide to pull the trigger at let's say $50. Price is at $50.10, and, and you say to yourself, I'll wait until the market goes down a few cents. The market goes down to $50.02 and, and you still wait. Then the market goes up to $50.10 and, again and you say to yourself, I'm not entering now. It's a worse price than 5 minutes ago. I'll wait until it goes down again. And of course, price never comes back. It goes up without you. And now you're frustrated because you anticipated the move, but your perfectionism stopped you to pull the trigger. The fear of losing money and perfectionism can lead to irrational behavior, overanalyzing, overthinking, and it slowly drains your mental energy. One issue that I've battled with personally was wanting to be perfect in my entries. I was looking for the perfect entry. You know it, one when you enter and price never goes against you, not even one point. Being a perfectionist in trading is stressful and always being on the edge will not help you to make good trading decisions. In most cases, when you wait for the perfect entry, you will realize that you just missed a big move. Trying to accurately time the entry point is a foolish endeavor. Perfection can be your worst enemy in trading and can bring in a lot of stress. Here's the solution to reduce this anxiety. Use ranges instead of exact prices. As a day trader, you won't be able to monitor price movements every minute of the day. This is why you should use price ranges rather than exact prices. This will give you some flexibility. And of course, 
you still need to be strict with yourself when executing your plan. Good traders are alert, yet patient. When a setup they've been waiting for shows up, they take it without hesitation. But until that time comes, they are not moved by the price fluctuations that tempt other traders. They choose to conserve their energy for the setups they've prepared for and ignore everything else. They don't chase the market, they let the market come to them. The opposite of this is to force trades. You know the feeling when you wait for a trade, you see some activity, and you pull the trigger early, forcing a trade. I was doing this almost every day. Here's the solution. Don't use market orders, and use limit orders instead. Basically, let the market come to you. Once you selected the instruments you want to trade and made your analysis, you must identify the prices where you will buy and sell. Your goal is simply to buy and sell at the best prices, and you use your research to identify the acceptable prices beforehand. Not only this will translate into a better execution, but it will also help you avoid making trades based on emotions. To reduce stress and anxiety, the simple solution is to only take action when conditions are as you expect. Allowing the market come to you is a difficult but valuable skill to learn. So forget about market orders and use limit orders. This will reduce emotional involvement and will stop you to make poor decisions. If you want to reduce stress and anxiety while trading, you might want to move to higher timeframes. This will allow you to have the time required to make informed decisions. I know you will find it hard at first, but you will also continue to struggle with nerves and stress until you make the change. If you feel nervous and afraid of losing money, I highly suggest giving the higher timeframes a go. Again, the transition to higher timeframes is hard and most traders are reluctant to make the switch. But you must change your environment if you want a better trading execution. When you're trading in an environment like the 1 minute or the 5 minute charts, you're risking of trading market noise. Granted, the higher timeframes won't offer trade setups at such a high pace, but the signals that are generated are more reliable and have a much better chance of working out. It's better to trade a handful of high-quality trades rather than trying to trade lots of poor-quality ones. Day trading is exciting, but it also requires to monitor price movements for many hours. Most day traders initially love the thrill and the action on the lower timeframes, but it's only a matter of time before you experience mental burnout. And once your mental discipline runs out, greed, frustration, anger and impatience will bring bad trades, sending you into a dangerous state of mind that is hard to bounce back from. So move to higher timeframes, you'll only spend a fraction of the time in front of the charts and you'll be at a less risk of experiencing burnout. After a while, you'll realize it's much more easier to keep a cool head while maintaining your mental and emotional discipline. How often did you enter a trade, the setup looked great, and then price went straight to your stop loss, before going to your take profit without you? This is probably the most frustrating scenario many traders deal with on a daily basis. Because you fear of losing money, you have the tendency to use small stop losses. You don't want to be wrong, and you try to keep your losses small. But putting your stop too close to the entry candle is a recipe for getting your account chopped to pieces. A narrow stop relies on you to have very accurate, almost perfect entries. And we already talked about perfectionism in trading. If you repeatedly see that your stops get hit before price reverses into your original direction, it's very likely that you place your stops at levels that other traders also use especially if you trade the obvious price action patterns. My advice, start trading with a wider stop loss and a lower position size, away from your entry. 
your position size you're using should be so small that neither a loss nor a winner will affect your mindset and your ability to keep trading. Only then you'll truly focus on the proper execution. If you're trading your hard-earned money in the markets, but you don't know what your trading strategy is, and you don't have confidence in your ability to analyze the markets, you probably shouldn't trade with a live account. One of the biggest reasons you are nervous when trading and afraid to lose your money is because you aren't confident in your own ability to trade. Maybe you don't have a trading strategy mastered, you don't have a trading plan, you don't keep a trading journal, you simply aren't prepared to risk real money in the markets yet. That's why you feel fear when you trade. Basically, trading anxiety comes from not knowing what you are doing. I've talked many times about the value of a trading journal. The key is to use your trading journal to track when you are at your best and when you are at your worst when it comes to your trading and emotions. In my trading journal, I pay close attention to times when I make mental mistakes, such as not taking a good trade when I know I should be taking it, when I'm scared of losing money or avoiding a good trade. I look for triggers and patterns. Was I distracted? Am I making this mistake in a specific market condition? Do I have specific emotions and feelings from previous trades? These are the intangibles that you should be tracking in your trading journal. Most traders are fixated on the short-term result, making money by clicking a few buttons. And they pay no attention to the process that enables that to happen, making mistakes, learning from them, and correcting them, over and over again. Everyone thinks about winning, but few consider the benefits of losing. In my experience, most of my wins can be directly attributed to a big losing trade in the past that I learned from. Making money as a trader is pointless if you don't understand why you're winning, because you can't repeat it. Likewise, losing money is a valuable experience if you understand why you lost. Paradoxically, you can't understand why you're winning without first understanding how you could have lost in the same situation. So change the way you think about losses because they will point you in the direction of repeatable wins in the future. If you found value and learned something new, leave us a like. This way we'll know if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And check out our academy program if you want to further level up your trading. Until next time.